When Spanish ships landed in Mexico in 1519, the mighty Aztec Empire was at the height of its power. From their capital at Tenochtitlan, the Aztecs controlled much of what is now Mexico and Central America, ruling some 15 million people. Aztec palaces were as vast and sophisticated as any of those in Europe, and their temples rivaled the Egyptian pyramids. But within just two years, the mighty Aztec Empire crumbled, and Tenochtitlan lay in ruins after a brutal siege led by Spanish conquistador Hernán Cortés. No great ancient civilization ever fell so far so fast. What happened to the Aztecs? For one thing, they had too many enemies. For years, the Aztecs used brutal force against neighboring tribes and city-states, forcing them to pay costly tributes and hand over victims for the human sacrifices central to the Aztec religion. Cortes turned these people's hatred of the Aztecs to his advantage. Spanish invaders also had superior weapons, plus guns, trained horses and dogs, and fully loaded warships that allowed them to overcome the Aztecs' greater numbers. Ineffective leadership also played a role in the fall of the Aztecs. Their emperor, Montezuma, believed Cortes might be the bearded Aztec god who was prophesied to conquer his people and bring universal peace. Unsure how to confront the Spanish leader, he was captured in 1520 and was later killed, possibly by his own people. His brother Cuitlahuac took over, leading an army that drove the Spaniards from Tenochtitlan. But the Aztecs then confronted another powerful enemy, smallpox. Brought aboard Spanish ships, the disease decimated the Aztec population, killing the new emperor and thousands of others. With the help of several thousand Indians, including Texcacans, Chalca, and Tepanec, Cortes and his Spanish force besieged Tenochtitlan, cutting off the city's water and food supplies. Despite a fierce resistance, the Aztec city fell on August 13, 1521. More than 200,000 people died in the struggle. With the Aztec Empire effectively destroyed, Cortes became governor and captain general of New Spain in 1522. Under Spanish rule, Mexico City rose from the ruins of Tenochtitlan, and Christianity spread throughout the region, replacing the temples and traditions of a once great ancient civilization.